I've been talking to a lot of experts about the possible grounds for banning TikTok. And there are a few of them they talk about. The first one, of course, is national security. Um, we've seen in the past the Committee on Foreign Investment basically ban or you know shut down the acquisition of American companies by Chinese companies. Grindr, the dating site, was one of those. Um, and the other argument is a kind of a parody argument around trade, right? Like in the same way that with steel, we wouldn't allow an arrangement in which we buy Chinese steel, but they don't let us sell it there, right? The argument is that we shouldn't be allowing people to, uh, you know, them to deny us access to their market. That's, these are both, though, federal arguments. And what's weird about the Montana TikTok ban that just got signed into law yesterday and takes an effect January 1st is that in the, like, four pages of documentation about it, it doesn't really mention national security issues. It talks about the privacy of Montanans, and maybe that's a legit thing, but there's only 1.1 million Montanans, so that's not a national security issue. And it doesn't mention the actual uh, national security problems you could think about in Montana. Montana's home to the 341st uh, missile wing. Uh, it's a nuclear military site, right, for nuclear weapons. ICBMs are, you know, controlled under the local Air Force base there. But... That's also true in Wyoming and North Dakota. Those places aren't banning it. So the uh, the argument in court feels a little shaky because it's probably going to come down to First Amendment grounds. And that, of course, is what these five TikTokers who sued last night are claiming has been infringed. So anyway, this kind of state-by-state -state ban, uh, I don't know, it might be good politics, but it doesn't feel like it's going to stand up in court.